The year is 2025. Stealth technology dominates discussions of air power. Fifth generation fighters like the F-35 have become ubiquitous symbols of military might. But in the shadow of these technological titans, a different breed of fighter jet continues to evolve. The Saab JAS-39 Gripen E, hailing from Sweden, represents a different approach to air superiority. The Gripen E is not a stealth fighter in the traditional sense. It does not rely on radar-absorbing materials or internal weapons bays to evade detection. Instead, it embraces a philosophy of agility, electronic warfare, and cost-effectiveness. This approach reflects Sweden's strategic realities and its long tradition of neutrality. The Swedish Air Force, facing potential threats from larger neighbours, has historically prioritised quality over quantity. Swedish doctrine emphasises the ability to disperse aircraft across numerous bases and austere airfields. The Gripen E, with its relatively small size, ease of maintenance and ability to operate from short runways, is perfectly suited for this doctrine. The Gripen E is not just a tool for national defense. Brazil, a rising power in South America, has become the first export customer for the Gripen E. At the heart of the Gripen E's capabilities lies a suite of advanced sensors and electronic warfare systems. These systems provide the Gripen E with situational awareness and the ability to defend itself against enemy threats. One of the most significant upgrades over previous Gripen variants is the addition of an active electronically scanned array or AESA radar. AESA radars offer several advantages over older mechanically scanned radars. They can scan the airspace more quickly and accurately, allowing the Gripen E to detect and track multiple targets simultaneously. Complementing the AESA radar is the Gripen E's advanced electronic warfare suite. This suite includes radar warning receivers, electronic countermeasures, and a digital electronic warfare system. These systems work together to detect, identify, and jam enemy radar and communication systems. The Gripen E's electronic warfare suite is designed to provide a layered defense against enemy missiles. It can jam enemy radar systems to prevent them from acquiring a lock on the Gripen E. The Gripen E may not be invisible to radar, but it compensates for this with its exceptional agility and speed. These characteristics are crucial for surviving in close quarters combat, where split-second decisions can mean the difference between victory and defeat. The Gripen E's design incorporates a delta wing configuration and advanced flight control systems. This combination gives it a high degree of maneuverability, allowing it to turn tightly and outmaneuver enemy aircraft. In a dogfight, the Gripen E can quickly change direction and get behind its opponent. This is essential for getting into a position to fire its weapons or to evade enemy fire. The Gripen E is also equipped with a powerful engine that gives it a high top speed and a fast rate of climb. This allows it to quickly reach optimal altitude and position itself for an advantageous engagement. The Gripen E's agility and speed are not just about winning dogfights, they are also crucial for evading enemy missiles. While the Gripen E excels in close quarters combat, it is also equipped for beyond visual range engagements. The modern battle space demands a multifaceted approach to warfare, and the Gripen E rises to the challenge with its diverse arsenal of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground munitions. The Gripen E can carry a variety of long-range air-to-air missiles, such as the Meteor missile. The Meteor, with its ramjet propulsion system, has a long reach and high speed, allowing the Gripen E to engage enemy aircraft from a safe distance. For close-range engagements, the Gripen E can be armed with short-range air-to-air missiles, such as the Iris-T and AS-RAM. These missiles are highly agile and maneuverable, making them ideal for taking down enemy aircraft in a dogfight. The Gripen E's offensive capabilities extend beyond air-to-air -air combat. It can also be armed with a variety of precision-guided munitions for ground attack missions. These include laser-guided bombs, GPS-guided bombs, and anti-ship missiles. This versatility allows the Gripen E to support ground troops, attack enemy infrastructure, and engage enemy ships at sea. Section 5. The Swedish Philosophy. Cost-effective defense and dispersed operations. The Gripen E embodies Sweden's approach to defence, which emphasises cost-effectiveness and adaptability. Sweden, a country with a limited defence budget, cannot afford to acquire large numbers of expensive fifth-generation fighters. 
Instead, it has focused on developing a fighter jet that is affordable to operate and maintain while still being highly capable. The Gripen E is designed for ease of maintenance. It has a modular design that allows for quick and easy replacement of parts. This reduces the amount of time the aircraft spends out of service for maintenance. The Gripen E can also operate from dispersed bases and austere airfields. This is important for a country like Sweden, which has a long coastline and numerous islands to defend. By dispersing its aircraft, Sweden can make it more difficult for an enemy to cripple its air force in a first strike. The Gripen E's ability to operate from short runways and unprepared airfields makes it ideal for this type of dispersed basing. The Gripen E's operational philosophy is based on the concept of smart power. Section 6 Global Appeal, Current Operators and Potential Customers The Gripen E's unique blend of capabilities and affordability has attracted interest from countries around the world. While Sweden remains its primary operator, the Gripen E has secured its place in the international market, with Brazil emerging as a key partner. The Brazilian Air Force, seeking to modernize its aging fleet, selected the Gripen E after a rigorous selection process. The deal, a testament to the Gripen E's capabilities, marked a significant achievement for Saab and solidified the fighter jet's international appeal. Beyond Brazil, other nations are considering the Gripen E as a viable option for their air forces. Peru, aiming to replace its aging fleet of Soviet-era fighters, has identified the Gripen E as a potential contender. The Gripen E's ability to operate from short runways and its suitability for Peru's challenging terrain make it an attractive option. Similarly, Colombia has shown interest in the Gripen E as part of its own fleet modernization efforts. The Gripen E's advanced capabilities and competitive price tag align with Colombia's defense requirements. Countries in Europe, including Slovakia and Bulgaria, have also expressed interest in the fighter jet. Section 7. The Ukrainian Question, a potential game-changer for Kyiv. The ongoing conflict in Ukraine has brought the Gripeny into focus as a potential game-changer for Kyiv's embattled air force. Facing a superior Russian aerospace threat, Ukraine seeks to bolster its air defense capabilities. The Grapen E, with its advanced capabilities, has emerged as a potential candidate for bolstering Ukraine's air power. Ukraine's air force, composed of aging Soviet-era aircraft, struggles against the Russian air force. The Gripen E's advanced radar and electronic warfare suite could provide Ukraine with a qualitative advantage. Sweden has provided Ukraine with significant military aid since the conflict began. This includes financial assistance, humanitarian aid and military equipment. Discussions about Sweden supplying Ukraine with Gripen jets are ongoing. The potential transfer of Gripen E jets to Ukraine faces challenges. Training Ukrainian pilots on a new aircraft type requires time and resources. Despite challenges, the Gripen E's potential impact on Ukraine's battlefield cannot be ignored. Section 8. Facing the future. Can the Gripen E compete with sixth generation fighters? As technology rapidly advances, the Gripen E faces the daunting task of remaining relevant in an era of sixth generation fighter jets. These next generation aircraft, currently under development by leading military powers, promise to incorporate revolutionary technologies that could redefine air warfare. Sixth generation fighters are expected to feature a range of game changing capabilities, including advanced artificial intelligence, directed energy weapons, and hypersonic flight. These technologies have the potential to shift the balance of power in the air, making it challenging for fourth-generation aircraft like the Gripen E to compete. However, the Gripen E's developers are not standing still. Saab is continuously investing in research and development to enhance the fighter jet's capabilities and extend its service life. Upgrades are planned to further enhance the Gripen E's electronic warfare suite, sensor fusion capabilities and weapon systems. One area of focus is the integration of artificial intelligence into the Gripen E systems. AI has the potential to revolutionize air combat by automating tasks, improving decision making and enhancing situational awareness. By incorporating AI, Saab aims to keep the Gripen E competitive against future threats. Section 9 Conclusion, 
a niche powerhouse in a changing world. The Gripen E has carved out a unique niche in the global fighter jet market. Its advanced capabilities, affordability and adaptability make it an attractive option. Continuous upgrades ensure it remains relevant for years to come. Its ease of maintenance and adaptability make it valuable for air forces worldwide. The Gripen E is a testament to Swedish engineering ingenuity. It embodies smart power, showing smaller nations can field capable military systems. The Gripen E is well positioned to remain a niche powerhouse for decades to come.